today I'm going to show you guys a really quick video, hopefully not too long, um, showing you guys how to add these boxes inside your stacks. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, make it quick. Um, you're going to have to go to two websites or one website. Um, the first one is this. It's basically it's pre-made stack icons for the boxes. Um, you just download one of them into a DMG file and it'll look like this. Click on the icon folder and it shows all the icons that you need or the ones that you want. These are the colored ones I downloaded. You can download any other kind you want. If you want to put it inside your folder, all you have to do is go in the folder you want. So let's say I have a finder window open. I have a pictures. So let's go ahead and delete that one for now. Actually, we don't delete all this. Move it out of here. No. Inside here, we have a photo one, right? All you have to do is drag this inside the, fo inside the folder move this photos icon into the stacks and there you go the reason why this works is because it sees that the box is labeled with a space in front of it and the name so it labels it alphabetically in front of all the other ones so basically all you have to actually do is just drag it in there it's that simple so um, there's another method of doing this um, for making your own custom boxes I'll go and show you guys that right now um, you need a new website for that. Let's, let me see if I can get it. Um, right over here. So, here we go. It shows blank icons. All you have to do is just click on this little link over here, right click on it, and then push save image as to wherever you want. So, let's save the desktop for now. Let's go ahead and replace it. So, um, you need an icon or something that you're going to use to make the, or you can use a blank if you want. So, for example, I open this up and said preview, and I have this icon I want to use it for. Or you can use any other icon you want. You can get an icon of this by pushing right click and then get info, and just copy this thing. Edit and then copy it. Or you can just download your own little picture or whatever, whatever you want, put it on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this finder icon on the computer. So I'm gonna hold, go ahead and select all by pushing Command A, and then copying it, pushing Command C. I'm gonna paste it by pushing Command V inside here. I'm gonna go ahead and make it really small if I can reach it. Okay. Just like this. I held I, the reason why I didn't change is because I held Shift. That makes it stay like a steady, a steady uh, square. So you can go ahead and do it like that, and then you have your your finder uh, box icon. And you can select all, and that's about it. So you basically do the same thing as before now. So you just go ahead and make a new folder. So you go ahead and write in the folder just like space. You have to first put a space before everything, because then it won't be alphabetically in first. So, um, space, and you can put like finder or whatever. So, now what you do is you just go ahead and right click over here, and you copy, select all, and then you copy this icon by pushing Command C. And then you just click on this and you push paste. You paste it in there, pushing Command V. And now you have your little finder icon like that. And then what you can do is you can just drag this inside any um, folder you want. So let's say I have the home folder, right? And I want to put this in here. And I drag this home folder right over here. So you can see it shows the box. Now if I take this out, or let's say I rename it, huh? So I'll rename it. And just find it without a space. As you can see immediately, it just disappeared from the from the front because it's not in the front anymore. So that's what you guys have to just mainly be sure you're doing. Put the space, and it'll show up in the front just like that. So um, that's about it. I don't want to take this too long. So see you later, guys.